Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to part 11 of the Audacity Accelerator course. In this part, we're going to learn how to record your vocals and your guitar at the same time in Audacity. This is perfect for quickly recording demos or perhaps for guitar teachers recording guitar and instructions at the same time. The method that I'm going to show you today for recording your guitar and vocals requires a microphone for your vocals, it requires your guitar of course, and an audio interface with two or more inputs to record them into at the same time. Now if you've got a dynamic mic for your vocals that would be preferable because it picks up less of the room sound um, because ideally you only want the, the microphone to be picking up your vocals as much as possible and your guitar is going to be recorded using the cable directly in. But if you only have a condenser mic, then not to worry, we can still get a good recording. If you're not sure how to record your guitar using direct input, and you're not sure how to set up your mic for recording vocals, then you'll want to watch parts 7 and 8 of this course, which I'll link on the screen now and in the description. Now we're going to learn how to record both of them at the same time into Audacity. Now here we are in the Audacity session. As I said, I've got the guitar plugged in using the DI method and I've got a dynamic mic to record my vocals. Now you could mic up the guitar, you could mic up an amp or you could mic up your acoustic guitar. Uh, this is just the best way of, of doing things so that the two tracks are separated so you don't have vocals on your guitar track and just minimizing the amount of guitar on your vocal track. So again, you're gonna need an audio interface with two inputs. Um, you could do it with one and just mic up both of both your guitar and your vocals, but that's not the point of this video. That I'm going to show you how to get two separate tracks recorded because the thing with Audacity is it doesn't let you set up two separate tracks and record using two different mics like you would find with some of the some premium doors. But there is a way, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So what we want to do is we've got the vocal mic in the first channel, the first input of the interface, and then we've got the DI guitar going into the second uh, the second channel of the interface. And I've just checked um, that, that neither of those are clipping. As we mentioned in previous videos, we don't want uh, our audio getting anywhere near, near that zero dB mark and we get some nasty digital distortion. We've got our audio interface set up. We've got the line in and the line out set to our audio interface. This time we're going to go for stereo, not mono. Now we're not technically recording uh, in stereo. We just want the two tracks recorded. So by default, if you have a an audio interface with with two channels, um, and you set set Audacity to stereo, if you hit record, the first channel is going to be on the left, and the second channel is going to come up on the right. So you can see that the left channel there on on the stereo is is recording my voice, and then if I play some guitar. It's coming up on the right channel. So as we've said in the other recording videos, make sure you do your test recording, uh, make sure that the levels are all good and listen back for the sound. You might need to make a few adjustments for your pickup and, and the mic placement and things like that. Um, but then we're gonna, let's just go straight in and hit the R button, uh, the quick shortcut for record and record some, some, some vocals and guitar. And the rain comes and now if we listen back and the rain comes and washes away all the pain goes numb as night turns to day so we've got completely isolated vocals on one channel and completely isolated guitar on the other channel. And now that we have that recorded, we can go onto the audio track, the stereo audio track, click on that, the menu drop down and go to split stereo to mono. And there we go. We've got two separate guitar tracks. You can export those separately. We'll be going over exporting in a later video. Um, you can mute them, play them individually. Uh, and mix them and edit them and, and so on. Or you could choose to record in mono and it will just put it all on uh, the guitar and the vocals both on one mono track. So there's a little workaround. Uh, Audacity doesn't quite support um, support multi-track recording, but there's a little workaround so that you can record a couple of tracks at the same time separately. Now you know how to record your vocals and guitar at the same time into Audacity. As I mentioned, it is preferable to record them separately if possible. It makes it easier in the mixing stage and the editing stage. 
But if you want to record a quick demo, or again, if you're a teacher recording a guitar lesson, for example, this is a great option. If you're following this course from the beginning, then well done. The recording module is now complete. You've learned how to install Audacity, you've learned your way around the software and how to record. In the next video, part 12, I'm going to show you how to remove unwanted noise from your recordings now that you've got some recordings done. And then we'll be moving on to the editing stage in, in later parts. So hit that subscribe button below, hit that bell icon so you're notified when the next video is up. Leave a like if this video helped you and let me know in the comments section below what have you been recording in Audacity. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part 12.